I've been in Marrakesh for the last couple of days and the city has been absolutely hectic in the best way. After a day excursion to the Atlas Mountains fell through because of the snow, we decided to book a last minute trip to Esuera, a seaside town about a three hour drive west of Marrakesh. It's known for its strong winds most of the year, it's Medina filled with art galleries and boutiques, and blue boats by the dock that bring back some of the freshest seafood in the country. A lot of visitors come to enjoy a day or two by the ocean, and for us, a day trip was the perfect way to escape the hustle and bustle from Marrakesh. There's so much to admire about this bohemian port city, and you'll see exactly why in this video. So the way for living on four small towns that we are, we get to the weekly market and sell it to the locals. Get this. This is called the Moroccan Christmas tree. Wow, so this is an argan tree and these goats eat the argan fruit. It looks insane. Look at the little baby ones. <gasps> So the goats eat these argan nuts. They only eat the soft cover part, not the fruit. So at the bottom of the tree, there's a bunch of fruit that falls because they only eat it and they don't eat it green or fresh. They eat it dried like this. argan honey made out of ooh it's very sticky from the argan flowers just got some argan oil products some for my friend as a little gift because she does suffer from some psoriasis so hopefully this will help I've made it to Soera. We're super excited to have some fresh seafood here. It's definitely a lot more like calm and slow paced and there's a lot of people in the water. We saw some surfers, some paddle boarders, um, and we're walking into the Medina. We have about four hours here to do whatever we want. We definitely want to get lunch first and then take some nice walks along the beach maybe have a little coffee in front of the beach but yeah i'm super excited to be here it's like super super different from marrakesh and our our guide was actually telling us that this is called the city of freedom because it's the only city in morocco where unmarried couples can actually stay in a hotel without showing any sort of like a marriage certificate because usually you have to show a certificate so yeah this is super cool i'm excited to explore Chondori, calamari, sardines, sea urchin. It's eating a lot. Mm -hmm. How bones. much is the sea? I will tell you. <laughs> I scale it, I will tell you how much we have. just ordered some fish. We got two fish and four big prawns. So when you come to the fish market section over here, pretty much every like fish stall is the same. They have all this fresh seafood, lobster, crab, sea urchins. You pick the ones that you want and then they will prepare it for you with some salad, drinks, and bread. A lot of people, like a lot of the sellers here are definitely gonna come and market themselves, but I would pretty much just pick any one that calls to you because I think that they're pretty much all the same.
lunch was super lovely. We loved the seafood. And they even gave us like two free sardines, which was really nice. It was like perfectly grilled in the simplest way and it went really well with the salad and the bread. Now, as you can see, I have the beach behind me. We're gonna walk around and explore a little bit and just enjoy the wind and the sea breeze. So excited. here I love it these alleyways super cute um, there's a lot of souvenirs that are being sold here but no one's being like pushy or anything which is such a contrast from Marrakesh wow look it's like a little small alleyway of art We are wrapping up our beach day with a little mint tea right by the waterfront here. We found this cafe with um, all these chairs. And we have a direct view of the beach. We see little kids playing soccer on the sand, kids swimming, some paddle boarders. Today's weather is just amazing and I love seeing the side of Morocco. We did not plan to come to the beach today and do this day excursion. It was because we were supposed to go to the mountains actually, but it's snowing up there. so. Um, this was kind of a spontaneous decision, but I'm really glad that we came. Just because when you usually come to Morocco, you don't really think of beaches and surfing. So yeah, it was. it's just been a really nice day. People are really nice. I actually got a leather bag today, this black one that you see here. It's kind of like a cross sling body bag and I, man I managed to haggle it down to $40 and they charged me an extra $5 because I had them adjust the strap. It was like a father, son, uncle owned a shop and they were super nice to us if you're ever in marrakesh and you want to do a day tour i highly suggest the airbnb experience that i booked um to come here i will link it down below i love that we have like a full four hours in the afternoon to just kind of do our own thing walk around at our own pace oh and the cats here are so freaking cute if you love cats come here and you'll be taking pictures like every 10 seconds because there are so many cute cats just laying around on rugs, laying around under chairs and tables. They're just everywhere. Anyways, we are just gonna continue to enjoy our tea and this lovely view here. And I hope that you come to Eswara whenever you are in Marrakesh because it's only three hours away and I think it's super worth it. Definitely shows a different side of Morocco that I think most people wouldn't really expect and if you can maybe stay a night here even. I just love how serene, quaint and charming this little seaside town is. 